Hey guys! It's time to do a blush tag. I was tagged by my YouTube bestie, Miss Nea, and I'm gonna link her information so you can click on it after watching this video and watch her blush tag. Yes, she tagged me to do this and I was so excited I couldn't wait to film it. The thing is, you know, she gave me the questions for this tag. I didn't took the time and selected blush that would be with each questions. I just pulled all my blushes out and I'm gonna decide as I read the questions and let's see how this is gonna go. <laughs> but anyway, so the first question uh, for this blush tag is best packaging. They are basically all similar to me. <laughs> but there's, there's actually one, well, if I show you this one now, he's gonna be in a bunch of questions because it fits in a bunch of other categories, <laughs> but this looks like a very pretty packaging, right? This one is the Sonia Kashuk blush and uh, it's in fairy and it's called it's a shimmery loose mineral blush with self-locking lid. Yeah, let me tell you about this. Well, best packaging, um, it's pretty, but it's not the best package. Okay, this is not gonna work because well, I guess it's the best packaging, right? Okay. Woo! See? It's falling! Okay, that's not the best, best packaging. Forget about it. So, okay, so no no best packaging. Uh, best packaging. I was just gonna say this MAC one because it doesn't fall. Obviously, it's a compact blush, so... I would say this is the best packaging. So, I'm gonna tell you this one. This is the MAC Peach Twist. And I just love this blush. So, I would say it's the best packaging. This is really hard. This is harder than I thought. Prettiest color. Ooh, prettiest color. I like this MAC one I just showed you, but let me see. I really, really like this NYX one. And it actually is a cream blush. And the name is Tickled. And it's just a cream blush by NYX. And this is the prettiest color. And I will show you. I actually use this brush to apply. I like to apply like that. I'll show you here the color it's very pretty gives you like a little glow so I like that oh kind of want to apply now since even though I'm wearing not wearing cream products so ooh -hoo! yes that's definitely the prettiest color just because it highlights at the same time you know multi-purpose hmm. I like it Ooh, guys, I like it. Okay, so this is my the prettiest color, the NYX Tickled. Next is Most Pigmented. Oh, okay, so I have to show this again, the same. MAC Pitch Twist. It's so pigmented, but it's good for every skin tone. If you have fair skin tone, just use a little bit. And if you have dark skin tone, this is perfect too. And every time I apply this blush, I notice that the color picks up really quickly and actually it was the one I was wearing before I put this uh, mask on top of it but yeah this is the most pigmented one so that I have so MAC Peach Twist everyday blush MAC Peach Twist <laughs> guys this is my favorite my favorite blush so when I go to work that's the one I I, I wear every day so to go to work so that I mean just being honest that's my MAC <laughs> Peach Twist and the problem too is like I don't own tons of blushes. I love blushes, but when I love, love, love a blush, I would stick to it and I was gonna buy again. So that's why I don't. Since I love this Mac one, I definitely like was not really looking for blushes. But actually, after watching Miss Nea's blush tag video, I want to purchase a bunch of blushes that she showed on her video. So check her video out. Party blush. Okay. Um, this will depend on yours. Uh, well, let's see. I really like this e.l.f. blush. And it is very inexpensive if you're familiar with e.l.f. And the name of this one is Peachy. 
and I tend to go to peachy colors for blush so I have a bunch of blushes I have they're like peachy something or you know like the peach twist by MAC and peachy by elf and this one is just the elf mineral blush this is really similar uh, color wise to the MAC peach twist but this one is a mineral blush so Show you. Woo! Guys, it's gonna be a mess after this because I'm already dropping everything. Let's see. And I'm filming on my office, so if you would see how my office looks like, it has my computer and stuff, and there's just makeup on top of things. But yeah, this would be a party blush because it does have a little bit of shimmery, but it's also great to use with highlighting and contouring. When I do highlighting and contouring, this adds a nice tone to it so if i'm going party this would be my go-to one regret purchasing this i never wore it well i tried this at home i try i tried so many times give this one a chance the sonia kashuk one first of all i didn't purchase this uh, it was a gift so i don't know if it qualifies for this but this was definitely a, if i would have purchased it would be a regret purchase first of all it's not my color uh fairy oh my gosh it keeps falling like this okay this is definitely the worst packaging because it just falls from it's horrible that's why this is some definitely something i would not travel with because you would open your makeup bag and you'll be a disaster this one is uh, not only the packaging because it drips everything. Oh my god, did you see all this? So it's all over. It's just all over. And it's not my color. Somebody that gave me this as a gift. Obviously, this is, uh, this is for fair skin. Very fair skin, I would say. So... I don't know. I let me see here. Oh, this already have. It looks to me this it would be more like a highlighter, but I have so many other highlighters I love. So, and this one when I applied when I was trying to give it a chance to actually like it, I really try to like this guys, but when every time I would apply, not only it was too light and it would look like a highlighter. But it, it was too shimmery. It looked like I applied glitter on my face. So, not good. Just, I don't know what happened. I don't know. I, don't know. I love Sonia Kashuk uh, brand. I, I love their brushes. Just, I don't know what happened to this blush, man. I don't know. Next one. Least used Sonia Kashuk never used <laughs> no I used but never out I never dared to go out with it so uh, most used would never let go oh I don't know if I can see this but I would say the Mac just because I love the pigmentation it's a blush that I use every day but I uh, maybe I would not say that I would never let go because I've been doing some research about cruelty free products and it looks like Mac, it's not, or at least not, I, have, I haven't been purchasing for Mac in a, a while since I've heard of that. And Miss Naya and I actually the other day we were texting back and forth and we were talking about cruelty free products. It's a concern of mine. I definitely not support a company that you know tests on animals. So if Mac does that, and I'm still researching about it, and if they do, uh, that's a no, a big no for me. So, uh, next one, favorite blush brand. I don't have like a, I have a favorite brand, but a favorite blush brand, I don't have one, but I'm gonna give this one to e.l.f. just because it's so inexpensive and this was a very good quality. This is a very good quality blush for the price comparing to the other prices, so. Gray blush discovery on the last year. I will go back to the NYX cream blush. <laughs> it was a great discovery because it was really interesting to figure out how to apply the cream blush too. And I would say it's a great discovery because, I mean, 
you can figure you know you can use as a highlighter and as a blush also I figure out you know just by using it so much that I, if I want a glowy look I just leave it like it is like I did or I can apply translucent powder on top and it won't be this glowy but it still will have a beautiful color so I like that most practical I will choose most practical I'm gonna choose the NARS because and I don't know if this might be cheating guys because I would say it's the most practical because it has the bronzer with it <laughs> so I like to carry this one in my purse if, if I think I'm gonna have to touch up throughout the day and this is the NARS Orgasm in Laguna so this is uh, definitely a duo that I would I always have on my purse even though this blush color it's a little too shimmery uh, I do like the undertones uh, that it has it's kind of similar to the NYX one the NYX one it has a little bit of more goldish color undertone than this orgasm one, one. so I like that so let's be the most practical one I talk so much I'm trying to make this quick but I can already sing them the least practical this because I cannot take this in my purse it will be a disaster I'm just gonna throw this away after this video most expensive is it the MAC one or is it the NARS well this NARS one has a similar price to the MAC one but I bought the travel size this is the little one you know they have a bigger size so I'm gonna say the MAC one was the most expensive yeah I know it's surprising right everything else is like pretty affordable uh, elf and the nyx yeah i love nyx and elf least expensive elf <laughs> the peachy mineral blush by elf i love it and discontinued blushes i hope this is discontinued <laughs> sorry guys i didn't check before this video what was discontinued and what was not but oh my gosh the least practical well this is like trash but I think I should show you this one that I, well I, this is not like necessarily a blush but it you, it can be used as a blush so I'm gonna show you this this is the benefit benetint I never used it so it's still in the pack in the you know that still in the sealed packaging so let me and I'll tell you well I don't know I I might bite my tongue here and start telling you that the least practical and then we try to apply and the reason why I think this is the uh, least practical it can be a tinted lip or a cheek stain maybe for tinted lip it could work better but I don't know I don't I like brushes that I can just apply with a brush and be done with it than uh, this. So apparently for a cheek stain, and I've seen people uh, doing demo videos of this, so apparently you have to like work fast with it, like, yeah, and it's gone. <laughs> Okay, this this is this might be the least uh, practical one. So anyway, guys, uh, I hope this was uh, interesting for you guys, and thank you so much, Miss Naya, for tagging me. I really enjoy doing this video. It might not look like, cause I I, don't know, I might look a little lost. I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoy this, and I hope to see you guys very soon. Today I watch her blush that blush. <laughs> it might be more pigmented than the MAC one. Let's see. No, it's not. Okay, so we're not changing anything, okay, so far. <laughs> and I also have that cream bronzer, which I love. But I'm, I'm looking at me. I'm already going off the subject. That's that's not even the point.